Hi, welcome back to our channel guys. So as on the last video, I promised to actually make the comparison test between the Akaso V50 Pro. So with me is the Type C, the new version, and also the older version, which is the mini USB type. So uh, what I'm going to break down on the comparison is that the image stabilization, the image quality, the night image quality, and also the microphone quality. So without further ado, let's get into the video comparison and see which do you actually prefer. Alright, now we test out the 1080p 60 frames per second, both with image stabilization. So this is the car park area, dimly lit. So let's walk down the stairs. The image looks brighter in the mini USB. V50 Pro. Right now is the test in 2.7K, 30 frames per second with image stabilization. One major change in the hardware we noticed is that the lens on the Type C have been changed, and this I think contribute to the purple fringing and also the slightly cooler color tones. Right, I'm just hand holding both cameras. So this is the test in 2.7K 30 frame with image stabilization right i'm just hand holding both cameras so this is the test in 2.7k 30 frames with image stabilization all right this is the external microphone test of the akaso v50 pro one is the mini usb type and then the other one is the type c so this is the microphone test using the external Microphone from Akaso. Testing 1, 2, 3 and testing 1, 2, 3. Alright, this is the external microphone test of the Akaso V50 Pro. One is the mini USB type and then the other one is the Type C. So this is the microphone test using the external microphone from Akaso. Testing 1, 2, 3 and testing 1, 2, 3. 7K walking test with stabilization. Okay, now it's a 4K 30 frame recording with EIS. 
the boat are without auto low light. You can see the Type C versions are so much brighter. Alright guys, so what's my conclusion on the V50 Pro? So for me, I think the V50 Pro with the Type-C new edition had improved a lot in terms of image stabilization and also night image quality. So you can see much, much more in the night time using the Type-C version. So one major good stuff we had in the mini USB Type is that the internal microphone of it is very very good but somehow in the new type C they actually removed the old microphone and they put in a different type of microphone and it sounds not that convincing so I do hope that it's not hardware but a software problem so if it is a software problem I do hope that Akaso will actually uh, make a better firmware to actually increase the mic volume of the V50 Pro Type-C. So besides the image quality and also the sound, I think there's also an improvement in terms of the menu system. So in the previous model, I think it's quite hard to actually find a certain setting like time-lapse and also time-lapse video so in this type c version they actually improve on the usability of the menu so it's much easier to navigate on the type c version right now so for the v50 pro type c edition the menu has been changed so from here you can have the main setup menu this is for the video and this is for the photo modes. So on the video mode, you can change your resolution, stabilization, and also time lapse video. So on your photo mode, you can also change the resolution and time lapse photo. So the rest of it are in the setting. So you have distortion control, angle control, diving mode and low light setting so if you swap from left to right or right to left you can change your mode from video to photo and also to playback so that's the new menu from the Akaso type C so I think that's the sharing that I would like to do with you guys so if you like to get the type C version, so it's available everywhere now. And but for those that are actually looking for the mini USB type, I'm so sorry that the mini USB type is no longer available in the market. So all you can get now, right now, is that the V50 Pro type C version. So that's all. So if you like this video, kindly share it with your friends and hopefully you can subscribe to the channel to help the channel grow. And I'm Alex, signing off from Malaysia. See ya.